Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about Gill Nelson staining or simply acid fast staining. So what is Gill Nelson staining? This staining technique it was first developed by Gill and later on modified by Nielsen and hence the name Gill Nielsen staining. So what is what is the another name for this Gill Nielsen staining? The another name for this is called acid fast staining. So what is the aim of Gill Nielsen staining? The aim of Gill Nielsen staining is to differentiate between acid fast and non acid fast bacteria. So then what is acid fast bacteria? Acid fast bacteria are the bacteria which has a cell wall that is rich in mycolic acids and they resist decolorizing by acids after staining. Okay, acid fast bacteria is the name suggests they have the acids, the mycolic acids in their cell wall and they resist decolorization by acids after staining. Whereas non acid fast bacteria is the name suggests they do not have mycolic acids in their cell wall okay they do not have mycolic acids in their cell wall and these bacteria are readily decolorized by acids after staining okay so gill nielsen staining or acid fast staining is used to differentiate between acid fast and non acid fa acid fast bacteria so now what is the process the process involved in gill Nelson staining. First step is the application of carvolfuxin. Okay, it is the primary stain uh, to the bacterial smear. So then, first, what is done? Carvolfuxin is added to the bacterial smear, and after this step, acid fast bacteria they appear pink, whereas acid fast negative or simply non acid fast bacteria also appear pink. And step number two, what is done? Heat is applied to fix the samples, okay? Heat is applied to fix the sample. Then what happens in this step? Acid fast bacteria, they oppose acid fast positive bacteria, they appear pink, whereas acid fast negative or simply non-acid fast bacteria, they also appear pink. And in the third step, what is done? Decolorization is done with acid alcohol. So decolorization is done um, by the solution of acid in alcohol, then what happens? That acid fast bacteria they retain the pink color, whereas non acid fast bacteria they become colorless. Okay, and in the final step, what is done? In the final step, methylene blue is added. Okay, methylene blue is a counter stain, so it is added to the sample. Then what happens? Acid fast positive bacteria or simply acid fast bacteria they they retain the pink color whereas the non acid fast bacteria or simply acid fast negative bacteria they appear blue in color so by the end of gill nelson staining or simply acid fast staining acid fast positive bacteria they appear pink whereas acid fast negative bacteria they appear blue